Happy Monday, oil traders. So let's take a look at the game plan for today, Monday the 19th of June, 2017. So as you can see, uh, oil has uh, jumped up from our closing price of about 44.74-ish. Uh, um, you see a gap here, and I wanted to just touch on this for a moment. Um, basically, long story short, just ignore the gap. Um, it might look like it's a, um, you know, a, an easy win for the bulls, but from experience, this gap, which resulted from the contract rollover from July to August in the uh, futures, oil futures, uh, this will get filled in and will disappear. If you look at the spot price, so here's the same chart, but on um, daily FX, they show the spot price as opposed to the futures price uh, listed on investing.com. You'll see that the chart is identical here. Um, but the gap right here um, is missing. And the spot price, of course, did not gap. Um, it just descended uh, the same way we descended here, but just from a different uh, starting point, and then spiked up. So where we are right now is approximately, what, 20 cents above our closing. Our closing was down here. Um, so we're up, we are up, from closing, but we're not up as much as it might seem based on the futures price. Um, you'll see this basically this difference between the futures and the spot price um, disappear over the course of the day today. Um, anyway, so that's that. Uh, basically, ignore the gap and we stick to our numbers as they were uh, last week. So, to that end, uh, basically, just talked about that. Our original pricing for buying short on uh, last week, um, if you go back to the last video, which covered uh, kind of the summary um, week in review, uh, we were targeting 45.20 to 45.50 in order to short. Um, HOD is the Canadian ETF. Um, it is tempting to buy, you know, if we were to open here, it is already tempting to buy short at this price because I do think we're going to retrace. Um, that's kind of what my plan is in, in shorting at this point. Uh, I think that we're going to retrace to at least where we close kind of the 4470-ish area, um, but likely much lower than that. I think we're going to retest 44 uh, before Wednesday's news. So that's kind of what I'm trying to profit from. Uh, this kind of drop before Wednesday's news as the bulls get scared out of their positions and look to uh, kind of hedge their bets and take profits off the table before Wednesday. Keep in mind, you know, we've seen so many drops. Um, if we flip to the three month chart here, we, you know, here what we're looking at, that's a one month chart. You can see that it's drop after drop after drop um, every Wednesday. And I think that we're going to see, this is a seven day chart, uh, I think we're going to uh, see a lot of, you know, worry this coming Wednesday as to, you know, are we going to drop yet again or is this the, the turnaround point? And like I always say, it's 50-50. There's no point in, you know, speculating which direction. It's just the best course of action is just to be prepared for whichever uh, scenario presents itself. So coming back to uh, the game plan, if we uh, happen to open in this range, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna short. And uh, the reason being that even if I'm wrong, even if we keep going up, I do believe that over the next month, maybe two months, we will retrace back down and retest these levels of 44-ish. Um, so I'm going to be able to profit from this short position eventually, um, but my feeling is that I'm gonna be able to profit from it within 24 to 48 hours. Um, of course, if you're more on the aggressive side of things, or if you don't have a position yet, this is a great place to go long. Um, so it could very well be that we just keep climbing from here on out um, for the foreseeable you know, month, uh, two months uh, forward. So going long from here, I mean, you know, if you take a look at the, uh, the one month or the three month chart, you know, there's a lot of opportunity. And ultimately, if you look at our uh, portfolio holdings, you know, are, we are long right now only. So my my feeling, my expectation is we're going up. I just don't know where the bottom is. I don't know if the bottom is 44 for the time being or if it's 42. So uh, I am kind of hedging my bets and, and getting prepared for whichever outcome might be. 
Uh, so that being said, if you aren't in yet, this might be a great time to go long. Um, I'm going short at these sorts of prices, the, uh, the 45, 20, 45, 50, because I believe that over the next 24 to 48 hours, it will be profitable to do so. Um, longer term, of course, I'm long, and I think that everyone should be long. Um, these, uh, this precipitate drop over the past month is unprecedented. This is the first time we've had four consecutive drops, uh, weekly drops in the past year. Um, and I don't think that it's going to continue. I don't mean to say that we're not going to go lower. I do think we're going to go lower, but I think we're going to go up first. Um, so it sort of depends on what your time frame is. Um, I think there's a lot of upside to profit from before we actually go any lower than we are now. Um, substantially lower. I don't mean that we're not going to go lower today or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan. Um, I'm looking for this mo upward momentum to continue today and uh, hopefully get into a, a short hedge position um, to, uh, to protect our long profits and uh, go from there. So if we open in this range, I'm short. And if not, then I'm gonna be waiting for Europe to close at 11.30 uh, a.m. Eastern. Uh, right now we're at 8.10 a.m. Eastern. Um, so right now we should be getting a good indication of what the day's action will be, or at least the morning's action, and go from there. So good luck to all. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned. Uh, use the comments down below on YouTube or over on uh, I, uh, tradingjournal.ca account and uh, look forward to any questions, comments, or suggestions you guys might have. And good luck to all. Cheers.